setup. This is the last in the series of videos about Decadance, and this will cover the setup function. The left-hand section of the setup interface is dedicated to showing you the system paths to the folder for audio, samples, MIDI files, and VST plugins. It also has the default paths used for the GUI skins available, and the file that is used to temporarily store any audio being used in Decadance. The tempo detector minimum threshold is used to prevent Decadance from sometimes detecting tempos that are half the speed that they should be. Lock Playing Deck prevents your system from loading tracks while it is playing. This can prevent glitching from occurring as the computer system tries to perform loading at the same time it is playing back. You are more likely to need this setting with older computer systems that cannot handle both tasks at the same time. Decoding and analysis can sometimes put some strain on the computer. Multi-core processors are able to avoid this by splitting the task of decoding or analysis and playback to different processors. This option is included if you're running a single core computer and you get glitching in the playback when you attempt to load another track at the same time. This allows slower single core computers to still load tracks during playback, albeit at a slower rate. Activating the next option sets the track's downbeat position to the nearest beat mark every time that you press play. The final option in this small section is used to force Decadance to reanalyze tracks when there is any changes, as well as allowing general MIDI devices to perform remote control on Decadance. You can also use more specialized DJ equipment, and presets are included for some of the more popular choices. With the correct setup, you can even use a Wii remote to control some operations within Decadance. Clicking on the More Info will link you to ImageLine's website, where more information about the device and its setup can be found. Lastly, you have several options for different skins that you can use for Decadance, and this allows you to cycle through the choices that you have available. This brings us to the end of this series of videos about Decadance.